What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all times. Caps and sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do, I do, I do. Do. I received another channeling in, so I'm going to um, deliver the message. I hope everybody is doing well today. I do, I do, I do. Who on this Sunday, June 12th, 2022? Um, I do. Okay. So the channeling I received was um, someone is trying to make is trying to make it out to be about race. Is what I heard. Someone is trying to make it out to be about race. Um, Trying to make somebody out like they're racist is what I just heard. Trying to make somebody out like they're racist. However, through many series of shame events, it's about to seriously backfire on this person that's talking shit about the other person, trying to make them out like they're racist because many, 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 many people know they're not. And they're truly not, is what I heard. What? Why? Okay, I just want to say. Why? Why, people? I just... I'm getting this channeling for a reason. Why? We live in a tough enough world as it is. We really just do. For real. We live in a tough enough world as it is. Why are you out gossiping saying that basically somebody's a damn racist? Because that's basically the channeling I'm receiving here. Somebody's gossiping out in the 3D world, basically claiming somebody else is a racist. But I heard they're most certainly not. And many, many, basically a shit ton of other people know they're not. And it's, it's about to seriously backfire on this person in a huge way. Okay, I heard it's about to seriously backfire on this person in a huge way. Well, it should. Because you shouldn't, you should really close your mouth and be quiet about things that you don't know about. Especially gossiping about other people. And that's just the damn truth. Everybody needs to hear that. Somebody's been rubbing their gabbers. It could be, I mean... Energy to be reversed. So it could be you running your gabber saying that somebody else is racist or somebody's running their gabber to you saying somebody's racist or you're the one behind the scenes they're running their gabber about. How that resonates, okay? You have to plug yourself in where you fit, okay? This isn't your story. It's not your story. One message may resonate. Two may resonate. Two plus may resonate. None may resonate. Only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. But my point is somebody is out there running their fucking gabbers in the universe. It could be in a workspace. It could be in a communal setting. It could be neighbors. It could be family, etc., etc., etc. But somebody's out there running their gabbers. And trust me, it happens in work all the time. Trust me, I know. I worked in workspace situations many times in my life for many fucking years. I've earned every damn penny I've had. I've earned it my damn self through workspace situations. Trust me, I know. So people talk about that shit all the time in workspace. People judge people all the time. I don't care if you're at a ball team situation, you're all, um, sitting at work, what have you, what have you. People don't fucking care. And that's just the truth. They should, but they don't. I'm just being real. Okay? But, somebody's out there running their grab or saying somebody's racist, basically. Saying they're racist. Now, I don't know which race to which race or which race to which race. I didn't hear that part. It really doesn't matter. But the, the, what matters in here is somebody is saying somebody's racist is what matters. You shouldn't do that shit. Especially, well, I heard this person's not racist. They're really not racist. And the thing is, is there really are racist people in the world, you guys. We all know this. There are racist people really in the world. So why are you running your gabber or allowing somebody to run your gabber about somebody that's not even fucking racist? Why are you even gossiping about that shit? That's wasted energy in the damn universe. If anybody needs to hear that. That's wasted damn energy. And that's just the truth. Especially, this person is not racist, I heard. They most certainly are not. I heard they most certainly are not. Well, they're not racist. Quit running your damn lips about them. Or having somebody run their lips to you about them. You have the power, too, you guys. If somebody's gossiping to you about this person, you have the power to say you don't want to hear it. If anybody needs to hear that. And I'm just being for real. Okay? This is sick. This is sick. It really is. Okay? 
people need to quit quit with the hashtag race wars. Yeah, I'm water in the damn snow, but I love all races. All races, all ethnicities. I got my um I'll give you an example. I got my um ex husband's wife a Christmas gift this past year. They've been together I think like a decade now or some shit. I got her a Christmas gift. She's not a different she's a completely different race than I am. But I don't hate her. I've never hated her. As long as she treats my kids fine and respectfully and treats them fairly and appropriately. I don't care what race you are. And I have told him that a decade ago. And that's just the truth. Now, I don't know who this is resonating for, but it doesn't matter who it's resonating for. I just told you my personal example because I just speak on my personal situations. But somebody, maybe you're watching too much reality TV, whoever this is for. Maybe you're watching too much damn reality TV or something. Somebody needs to quit with the racism and the drama. And I just, I feel somebody needs to hear that. Someone is about to get their ass handed to them very soon. Truth. Okay, I heard someone's about to get their ass handed to them soon. Truth. So you plug it in how it resonates, man. Some kind of truth's about to come to somebody about to get their ass handed to them in some shape, form, or fashion. Pathway open, high honor, reverse, number 35 or 25 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 35 or 25 could be a possible age to you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. 35 or 25. I mean, I y'all know I keep it real on here, but I, it pisses me off because, yeah, I'm a funky, pasty white girl from Alabama, adopted, child of the system from Alabama, but I'm smart. I'm smart, and I've been through a lot of shit in my life, and I'm an old woman now, 38. I've been through a lot of shit in my life. And I, one thing that pisses me off more than anything is race, racism. Like I said, my ex-husband is married to a lady that is not of my race. Have I ever treated her differently because of her race? No, absolutely not. Have I ever treated anybody differently because of their race? Absolutely not. I'll give you an example, another personal example. One, two, three, okay, one, two, three, four, five houses on the side of me, three in the front on the other side of the street, and both on each side of me, right? Caucasian, Caucasian, African American, Caucasian, African American. So out of the five houses, there's two African American households and three Caucasian. And I am Caucasian. Do I treat those two African American households any differently than I do the Caucasian ones? Not at all. I do not. Not at all. In fact, I talk to those people. Well, I don't talk to the front ones because they're. Uh, I don't talk to them. But I talk to the side neighbor. She's African American. She's actually the only one I talk to, period. But it's not, I don't disclude anybody because of somebody's race is what I'm trying to say. I disclude you the way you treat people. I choose not to speak to your ass the way you treat people. Or I choose to speak to you the, according to the way you treat people. It's about the way you treat, it should be about the way you treat people, not the color of your skin. If anybody needs to hear that. And I'm serious about that. I'm so serious. I feel somebody needs to hear that and watches this channel. Because somebody just loves to run their fucking gabbers. I think somebody watches too much damn reality TV. They need to get in the fucking real world a little bit. Like the real, real world. Not the reality TV show, the real world. Someone who was slandered so badly in the past, defamation of character, they're about to get huge justice soon. Okay, I heard someone that was slandered so badly in the past, defamation of character, um, is about to get huge justice soon. So, pathway's about to be open. 
Um, it sounds like it was blocked in the past, but it's because they've had so much negative energy around them. And some of them is because of damn racism. And it's sad. That just pisses me off. Yes, the 38-year-old honky white girl from Alabama, child of the system, child of the system from the state of Alabama, I might add, and state of Louisiana, for a little bit until I came here, will tell you this. Quit freaking being racist, man. And that's just the truth. There are many series of chain events. Someone's gossip is about to seriously backfire on their ass in a huge way. And their actions of the past. Harming a family. And harming another. Okay. Heard through many series of chain events. Somebody's actions of the past are about to seriously boomerang back on their ass. Um, some it's gossip and slander, defamation of character. Some it's... Um, Harming a person, I heard, for some, and for some, harming a family. So, they're about to get high on a reverse in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel for some, they might get the police called on them soon, or they might get child protective services called on them, or something, or maybe a police report filed, or a protection order filed, or something of that nature. I, I'm not sure. Um, but somehow, it's about to negatively boomerang back upon them. Some, it could just be somebody just puts their ass in their place, like flat back at them. Maybe in a workspace situation or a ball team setting or a neighborhood function or um, a community group setting or what have you. You plug it in how it resonates, man. You plug it in how it resonates. People need to keep their damn mouth shut and be a little more intelligent and quit just gossiping. And honestly, that's another reason why I hate the damn one. That's why I don't watch TV. Still, for five years, I have not watched TV, just to let everybody know. For five damn years. I haven't been able to afford to fucking uh, afford television. But I wouldn't even, even if I could afford television, I wouldn't um, get cable. And that's just the truth. I wouldn't, even if I could afford cable, I wouldn't get cable. Because I'm not interested in television. And that's just the truth. I like documentaries. I like the History Channel. Just like my dad, all those years ago. Um, my dad used to watch the History Channel. Well, he watched the news too, but I used to watch the History Channel with him. And that's the truth. R.I.P. R.I.P. Gregory Allen Johnston. Okay. All right, I love you guys. I hope this helped, and namaste.